Oh. Hey, everybody. This is Norm over here, Norm's Rock Guitars. I got my buddy Jimmy Vivino, who's hey. a band leader on Conan O'Brien. Plays in this band, the Fab I'm playing. Foe. I'm playing here. No. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> he, he plays in this band called the Fab Foe. I keep telling him, four is F O U R. You guys can't spell it. These guys spell it F A U X. We didn't say we were mathematicians. Oh, all right. We're yeah, politicians. You. You're politicians. <laughs> here. All right. Or I'm busy with this lore. Yes. By the way, this is a 1924 yes. Lloyd wow. Lore L5. This is sounds a like Maltese it has reverb. Falcon. Yeah. It kills me. Like, yep. And loud. Anyway, yeah, this is the Maltese Falcon. Yeah. Of all the you know small body L5s, yeah. this is the most sought after, desirable. Lloyd Lore was a designer for Gibson. He's a guy who actually put, yeah. designed the uh, art shop guitars with F holes because previously they had those oval holes. And so, they're small. Like they're, they're small, small, but it's mighty sound. And this, the thing about the Lloyd Lores, which is kind of cool, the sides are maple, but the back is birch. It's a whole yeah. different thing than what came later. Featherweight. Yeah. Tell me, Jimmy. And it's a 24, think? so it's like the last of the, uh, yeah. of the Yeah, he lures. only made them for a couple years. Yeah. And this is one of the finest examples I've ever seen. I think this is worth everything I own being sold. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, you can start working on that now. You know what, though? If you can play on this, uh, you know, that's all you really, if, if you start playing one of these every day, you know, yeah. it's like eating your Wheaties, man. <laughs> you know, it, it really, yeah. Uh, right? But it sings. And has a big neck. Yeah, yeah. He's right? probably never had blues played on it before either, which is great. Well, you're the first. Well, it's so dynamic. That's what I find. The most thing about it is that. And that yeah. reverb yeah, the, kind of thing yeah. that's built in. I mean, it's, you know. Yeah, it's just, just, just like part a of delay the that's built into the guitar. It's kind of, you know. Man, if we could just delay the payments on it. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. It's I really knew he was going to start with no, that. No, it's, crap again, it's really beautiful. You should come just to visit this guitar. Thank you. You know, really. You. And, and we're just um, immersed in arch tops. So right. what, well, what happened? Arch tops and flat tops. I bought a huge collection of stuff. And yeah. I mean, some of the most important are they for guitars. Sale? They are for sale. <laughs> and if I was younger, they probably wouldn't be because I love all this stuff. Yeah. And I used to, people used to call me when. Uh, you know, in the early days when I was younger and I had stuff and they would ask me for something that I actually had and I would tell them I don't even have it because I didn't want people calling me up, driving me nuts, come on, sell me that guitar. Yeah, yeah. But now... I'm, I mean, you're an organ player. What are you doing here? Uh, I've been playing with my organ for a long <laughs> yeah, that's time. That's right. I know. I heard. So. B3. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So tell me what else you're doing right now. I know you're doing... I uh, have a couple of weeks off. So uh, you got me with the Jewish Italian guilt to there come you back go. down to the store. It's been a while. Uh, I keep, you know why? This is the problem with Instagram and all that, much as I love it. I see everything on my phone. I say, oh, Lord, you got that, you got that, you got that. I should come down and you visit You gotta them. feel it though, right? It's not the same. There's a smell. Yes. <laughs> These are the feel. case in the, in the guitar. You open the case. You know, it's like we lost that with vinyl, with the records. You know, yep. it used to be a thing about opening a record for the uh, first of course. time, putting yeah. it on the turntable. Well, yeah, you can't experience it really unless you come down here. And um, and you've been playing all kinds of stuff, that blonde super four yeah. cutaway, all these other yeah. acoustic a lot of tops stuff. and um, stuff. I mean, just all of my pieces, pretty much now that I own, I got from you. Well, thank so, you very much. Uh, yeah, you know, when I when I moved from New York, I got rid of a lot of stuff. And uh, I came pretty, <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty lightly equipped with a lot of new guitars and stuff I got from companies and that I play on the show. And, and I like to say, you know, Jimmy and I are good buddies, but Jimmy is a coward because he's afraid to come in here most of the time. Is that true or it's, what? I told you, I said it before. It's like it's like the Catholic and Jewish guilt at Thank the you. same time. He looks uh, like a rabbi mask. I do. I do. I, I am. I am. Or no, right, I just—you got me off the golf course. I was caddy. There you go. I was a caddy though. I well, was today. With this yeah, hat, I wasn't you know, the guy so. shoot. You know, shooting anything numbers wise. <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, basically, you know, we just got back from a week at Comic Con with the show, which was just great. Cool. You know, and uh, how about those folks? They're Talking nothing like folks. guitar nerds. Guitar nerds are way beyond that. Really? Well, no, they're about the same. In a different you know, way. In a different way. They can start talking about, go way over your head talking about stuff, you know. And we do that. Right. We, so you we don't do think drugs even induced any of that stuff over there or what? 
Drugs. I know it did. No. With, with, uh, yeah. No, I think I think maybe when they built these, they were <laughs> they were on some be, really yeah. good drugs. No, this is uh, you know the the thing about about our art. What we do is. Um, this is mastery craftsmanship, you know. This It'll is, never be duplicated. It's not like, ever. okay, well, you know, some figure from the 60s, some toy that was, you know, molded plastic that's worth right. hundreds of dollars. It's not Just like, because it is what it is. Yeah, this that, is yeah that's collecti collectible wow. stuff. I this call is, this functional art. This is art in a way, but if it need to be played. Right. They want to be played. So, I mean, you can come here and play them. Absolutely. You know, and then and the you more come you come here, here too. you'll you know, start so. thinking about how to buy one. And you can put Thank it together. You. It's a it's it's a trickle down process. Absolutely. Um plus not to mention all the really great new stuff that I see in here also. People forget that. Right. There's a uh, lot of great new stuff as well. So yeah. and we got everything in all kinds of price ranges, but yeah. this is like masterpiece. I mean kids level. can come down and see stuff that the you know, I mean they'll never uh, see they'll never see anywhere else, you know, and uh uh, unless they want to go to Nashville or something. And you can't get the materials, you know, on these guitars. Well, we forget anymore. that this wood was already aged and old when they used Maybe it. Maybe 50 or 100 years before yeah. it ever became a guitar. I always say that about new guitars. In 50 years when I'm dead, this guitar is going to sound great. That's right. <laughs> well, but these already sound great. So, you know, and you can come down. I mean, really, you know, it's a player friendly museum. Really. Well, we like people to play them. So. And everything has a price. Thank you. My buddy Jimmy Vivino, one of my old buddies here, and I always love seeing Jimmy, and we give each other a ration every time he comes oh, in. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's worth it, though, yeah. But uh, that's how you know we love you over here. Jimmy Vivino, See the great Jimmy Vivino. Uh, on TV. Conan.